I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Family values, right and wrong. How do you act in public? You know, my whole life, it's been kind of a thing that the people we elected were supposed to be better than we are, smarter, more diplomatic, and they work for us. Or at least they did their freaky stuff in a tunnel under the White House. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Thanks, JFK. Look, they used our taxes for important things like roads and bridges and social programs. You know, government. And in fact, when they did do something corrupt, uh, evil, embarrassing, stupid, violent, or they lied, they resigned. They left. Not anymore. We in America become a political reality television clown show where the bigger douchebag you are, the more douchebags will vote for you. This is Lauren Boebert, a five foot one firecracker of dumbass. She's 36. She has four kids and is a grandma because her 15 year old son got his girlfriend pregnant. You know, family values. We've covered this abomination to democracy before. However, this week was frankly next level amazing. Boebert, has said she's all about integrity, that she's anti-abortion and pro-family values. And she loves Broadway plays. This is video of her in the audience in Colorado at a road company performance of Beetlejuice with a date because, you know, she's getting a divorce. Family values! She's vaping in the theater, smoking during the show. And when a pregnant woman behind her asks her to stop, she allegedly says, suck it, fatty. Allegedly. Family values. Then while she is spaz dancing during the play, the man she is on her first day with grabs her teat and gives her a breast massage. And she allows it. Family values. In fact, at one point, she decides to reciprocate with a crotch massage for her beau. You know, like the old days when your grandma was courting grandpa. Because, you know, family values. At one point, she was asked to leave. And she told him to suck it, fatty. Allegedly again. Then said, do you know who I am? Which confused the man because he thought, obviously, she was a hooker. Because her hand was gripping her date's crank. Family values! You know, reporters asked her why she did this. She said she didn't. That she wasn't vaping. She lied because, you know, it's what Jesus would do. Family values! The church is supposed to direct the government and i'm tired of this separation of church and state junk lauren bobert is a grifter a con and it's obvious and honestly i don't blame her she's a loser high school dropout who's gone bankrupt and is divorcing a husband who's jailed for showing his penis to minors she is low rent low character with her middle figure up high and she's now in congress she is who she is so you can't blame her i blame you who continue to vote for bobert and hypocrites like her who in the face of knowing who they are, what scumbags they are, and what they do, you still put these bad examples of humanity in positions of power. They value nothing except their own power. And they may value your vote, but as records show, they don't value your family. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Man, she was stroking the dude's yoke while he was on the road. Just, like, I don't even, and he, what were you doing? Like, what, what the deal, you play?